What's going on? You're a mess. I'm not drunk. I'm just resting my eyes. Okay. So, what's going on? My boom shines. Uh, about to get blown sky high by a bunch of angry scumbags. Hey, damn it. Mm. What? Yeah. Them cholos are gonna blow up my liquor. There's so much of it at the warehouse, one match, blow it all the way to Tennessee. Tennessee, here I come. Phil, <laughs> come on. Let's deal with this. <laughs> The thing is, Vicky boy, my daddy was an angry man. He never, ever told me I was special. In fact, he used to beat me, especially when he caught me staring at my cousin or my sister. You know what he said to me? He said I'd be better off dead. Uh, and how exactly is this helping? Uh, <clears throat> the tragedy of it is, I'm just like him. I am a drunk. I deserve to die. It should have been me instead of Zach on Hill 491, man. I'm coming home, Daddy! Yeah, Daddy, I'm coming home! You're pathetic. Uh, I could have sworn I locked this place up. Phil, don't open the... Daddy! Scheming cholo bastards body trapped my place. Ain't no use running. When that boom shine blows, we're all gonna die. Get a grip! I'll get your damn liquor. I'll back the truck up to the door. You load her up.
I better put these babies in some safe place, huh? Get off of me! Oh! for their late arrival at the scene, blaming the hectic training program of their new fire helicopter service soon to be unveiled in the city. BNN, news on the hour, every hour, regardless. That's all we have time for. Catch us next time on New World Order. Remember, love your... people, fertility is very important. Hey, look who it is! Victor Vance! What's going on, amigo? You want some smoke? Fuck you, Martinez. Relax! You're so fucking histrionic, it's like hanging out with a bitch on her period. You want me to fuck you up? Whatever, baby. The thing is, you work for Phil, and Phil, Phil works for me, which makes you my bitch's bitch. Figure that out. <coughs> Man, that shit is heavy. So you had better play nice if you want to get paid, huh? Because if you don't get paid, then who's going to look after your sick brother? Fuck you. <laughs> hey, change the record, baby. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. What did you expect me to do, huh? I didn't screw you over for fun. I was saving myself, and you would do the same, and don't pretend otherwise. I had a career. So what? You got kicked out of the army. Big deal. Hey, I told Phil about some guns I can sell if you can get them. Hmm? Hey, Phil, don't smoke too much of this shit, huh? It'll make you trip out. Get paranoid. Sure. Later, Jerry. Come on, Vic. This is just silence any asshole following me. We're gonna need some backup, Vic. I know some guys that'll help. Worried about overpopulating? Well, someone's gotta make sure we aren't overrun. Plus, I'm producing... No Are we being followed? <laughs> We better not be being followed. I'll rip those bastards' livers right out of their side. Chill out, man. There ain't no one following us. A reputation. A pathway that will take me all the way to the police. You know, a public radio cannot influence policymakers. I don't know what can. Bribes, blackmail, yes, yes, blow yes, jobs. yes, yes, debate, 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 please. Healthy debate. A young idea. Getting pulled into maturity by people who know. Go-getters on the path to being broadcasting superstars. One day, I will be a news anchor on a major station. Let's press the issue. What issue? I was getting to that. Okay, listen, all of you. You know, this show only works if you let me speak. I'm the ringmaster. Okay. Hey, fellas, come on. We're gonna make some money. They're good guys, Vic. Just always so quiet. Have you <laughs> uh, maybe I shouldn't trust them. You clap like seals when I say something. And then a clown comes and scoops up my poop. And the children clap. And this, this, my friends, is show business. So, let me do my bit. 
Okay, lady. You are so rude. I'm a mother. I take priority. Please, miss, let us press the issue first and fall out later, okay? Now, in today's hectic society, in this age of mini portable filing systems you carry everywhere so you know the date and the phone number, of high-tech wristwatches with digital readouts, in this crazy time of condominium development and junk that has been turned into buns, anything is possible. American workers are drunk. Factories are shutting down. Youths wearing leather moccasins and piercing their ears. And even the family itself is under threat. Dear God, no. Yes. And as that drag queen in charge in Britain said, there is not a thing as society. I'm gonna take the truck back to my place. Anyone follows me, you give them hell. Regulating the corporate shackles that are strangling this town. What kind of pathetic loser journalist are you? Yeah, take another drag of your Siggy Waverly. You know, you make me shiver the way you Peace and back up! And I see a man that's a lot of men's hair. Then I see Maurice. You are a cool You are massive! Is it just me or is it just this town? You what think you are? My little thing. Job done? But you know what? I'm drifting. The fact remains, they are the same thing. For the working man, too much work. For the fat cat, or in your case, very thin and sexless, nicotine-stained cat. Too many regulations. The working man wants spare time, spare money. Incoming! Strict blood, alcoholism. The fat cat wants increased profits to pay for divorces and having uncooperative spouses killed. How do we use modern technology such as the enormous shoulder pad or the espadrille to make life better, eh? Not worse. Martin Grace, you work in the field of technology. What do you think? I, I'm glad that finally because I've been here. I think that the single most incredible thing in the whole universe is... I'll take care of them, senor! Please, somebody shut him up! That, this, don't we have the power to save ourselves is the solution. In less than, than five years, manual labor will be entirely obsolete. I have no idea what you're saying. Go on. Um, in El Bente, I can't, uh, I'll, I'll get a dictionary. Uh, shops will be staffed by, by robots. Robots. Uh, coal will be mined by robots. Uh, dogs will be worked by robo robotic cats. Even, even the dogs themselves will be robotic. I think you want a baby, but, but don't know for certain. You'll have a robot baby you can build and raise instead. It will drink oil instead of milk. You're a robot. Yes, that it's, is it's for the economy. I wish I was a robot. God, that's atrocious. That is inhumane, sir. You're very narrow because you're from low income. Excuse me? Australia. Did you know uh, one of two babies born in last year in Sweden was a robot, and the rest already act like them? They they have the happiest society on the planet. But they, but how are they making these? Well, what are you talking about? I'm. Oh, too bad. The fact remains, they are the same thing. For the working man, too much work. For the fat cat... Hello? Marty? Phil Cassidy sent me. Oh, uh, hi. Marty ain't home or nothing. Oh, oh, okay. 
Well, do you know when he's gonna be back? I don't know nothing. Excuse me. What do you want, boy? Nothing. Are you Marty? No. Now get gone, boy. Bitch! Bitch! Get your sorry ass out here! I thought I told you to clean this shit up! Marty, Mary Beth's been sick. Don't be using that baby as an excuse, Louise. Cause I'll hit her as well as you. Are you Louise? I'm a friend of Phil's. Friend of Phil's? Well, why don't you say so, boy? I'm Marty J. Williams. I was too busy watching you threaten your wife. Well, we was only playing around, boy. He didn't mean nothing by it. He only hits me when I deserve it. Oh, yeah? Well, Phil says you guys might have some work for me. I'm Vic Vance. Yeah, sure. I got a few things need taken care of right now, as a matter of fact. Drive me. And Louise, you better have this shit cleaned up before I get back. You got me? Get ready, $50 in code hard cash. V-Rock, making your... A business interest of mine is having trouble with some idiots I need putting straight. What business are you in? I look after people and they look after me. Sometimes I have to remind them of their obligations if they don't. But mostly I just mind my own business. You mind yours, pal. Okay, we're here. Now get on in there and teach them idiots a lesson. You're not coming? Why would I employ a dog and then bark myself? Go sick him, pal. Now who's in charge? You fool. Please, I can't afford to pay any more protection. You don't pay, you don't stay. Fuck this place up. Who the hell is this hero? Be cool. Don't be a man. You call. You done real good, Vic. M Marty. He's with you? What are you doing letting scum in your store? My protection don't run to no daily visit. Are you hot for me, boy? Is that it? You wanna see my pretty face here every day? What? I mean, I... No! What's in my time? Your protection rate just went up. Come on, Vic. These Cholo boys normally protect a store nearby. Now it's gonna need new protection. Let's go get it. You're running a protection racket? And more besides soon enough. Come on, put the pedal to the metal, step on it. This is it. Let's get in there and bring them into the fold. But I pay protection to the Cholo! I don't see them protecting you any. Vic, get to work. Marty, this ain't right. You wanna get paid? Be a man. Or are you all hat and no cattle? I don't want any trouble. That's why you need us. Please! No, please! Fuck them up! 
You wanna get killed, amigo? Yes! Okay, I'll pay, I'll pay! You done a man's job today. I might have more work for you. See you around. Get out of my face, Yankee! and try to raise my daughter right. Well, Pete, there's some good news. <laughs> Gordon Moore had saved your daughter from turning to a life of ruining families and being a prostitute. Uh, really? But she wants to be a school teacher, not a hooker. What are you talking about? A teacher? Not anymore, she doesn't. Why not? She's dead! No, please, no. I can't handle it. First, my leg... Hey, Louise. Hey, Vic. How you keeping? Uh, better now. Good. Hey, don't stop. I'm waiting for Marty. No, it's nice to talk to someone. So, Phil said you was in the service? Uh, yeah, but I screwed up. You and me both. Damn it, woman. If you're gonna dress like a whore, I'm gonna turn you out. I was doing my aerobics, Marty. For crying out loud, give me a break. I will. A broken fucking neck. You watch your mouth in my goddamn house. Sorry. Now look what you gone and done, you imbecile. Jesus, woman. Hey, what's up, Vic Vance? You said you might have some other work. Yeah, yeah, sure. I got some debt people need to start paying. Well, I, I, if you don't shut that bread up, woman, I will. Screw you, Marty! You're nothing but an inbred hillbilly piece of shit! You better watch your mouth, Tramp, or I'll knock them teeth out! That's it! I'm taking the baby and I'm going to stay with my sister! Good! Go ahead, go! Fat-ass pig sister of hers. I'll hit her and all, too. Come on, let's get out of here. Portly Molly Moundstein. But I'm going to kill you if it's the last thing I do. Oh, please, no. I don't know what you're talking about. Gordon! Gordon, he's got a gun! No, I haven't! Bullets don't work on a man this criminally insane. They'll just make him stronger. What should we do, Pablo? You're full of cunning. See, si. Mi sombrero. She say, use the friendly napalm. Righto. Incredible. He's ingenious. Here's a list of shit needs repossessing. I don't think you got the stones to get it for me. Prove me wrong. <sighs> Beautiful as 
the napalm fire could also be doing something as noble as burning to death a criminal genius like that. Incredible. You Americanos are crazy. Hey, who wants a tequila? Oh, oh no! It's progress, just like my hair. I love that show. Some of the values are a little old-fashioned, but it's good entertainment that shows the value of patriarchy in our society. And speaking of fatherhood, next is a man who has listeners and some of the staff laughing through tears. Maurice Chavez with Pressing Issues. Okay, hello and welcome to the show. This is Pressing Issues with me, Maurice Chavez. At one time, my show was buried in overnights, but now I am a man on the way up. Today, helping me to press the issue and separate the sweet juice of truth from the pulpy discharge of lies and misunderstanding, we have technologist Martin Graves. Uh, first, Martin, please explain to every person listening at home what on earth a technologist. First, okay, this is this is my show, a public service to my city, just uh, like the man who takes your dead pool and mounts it on it. But how can we worry about our elderly family members or dogs soiling themselves when there are nuclear missiles aimed at Vice City? It is well known. Vice City is a prime target, as the Russians hate our speedboat culture and enormous melons. But enough of orange analogies for the moment. Uh, so a technologist is... I'm sorry, there are other people on the panel. I, I, I said, I said, I should press the issue, my friend, not stroke your ego, okay? Please, where do they get these people, eh? Okay, well... Next up, we have America's favorite female industrialist, Forbes Waverly III. Hello, Forbes. Hey, Chavez, can we get on with this? There's a... chance pregnant? Uh, yes, obviously. Look at me. What do you think? That I was just a fat bitch? Tip hey, hey, okay, okay. Hold your temper there. You know, to my people, fertility is very important. The Aztecs all went sterile from UFOs. I read it in a book. Who is this? Yeah. Thank you. Uh... I paid Marty off weeks ago, man. I'm sorry. Move it, brother. society. So let's press the issue. Modern life in 1984. Crazy or what? Is that it? Modern life? Crazy or what? That's an issue? Oh, you are so pathetic, Mr. Hola man. 
I was told we were here to discuss labor issues, to discuss deregulating the corporate shackles that are strangling this town. What kind of pathetic loser journalist are you? Yeah, take another drag of your Siggy Waverly. You know, you make me shiver the way you look at me. Like I shiver in the... You want some more of this? You goddamn thief! Regulations. The working man wants spare time and spare money to indulge his hobbies, like street clubs and alcoholism, while the fat cat wants increased profits to pay for divorces and having uncooperative spouses killed. How do we use modern technology such as the enormous shoulder patch for the espadrille to make life better, eh? Not worse. Martin Graves, you work in the field of technology. What do you think? I'm glad you finally, because I've been here. I think the, the single most incredible thing in the whole universe is the human spleen, uh, apart from the giraffe's neck. Please, somebody uh, we, shut we, him uh, up. Miss, don't be angry. We have the power to save ourselves. Hank, get that van out of here. Why do I get the impression none of those debts were genuine? Whatever I say is mine is mine. And what I say goes. If you want to get on around here, you'll learn that one, kid. will be staffed by, by robots. robots. Uh, coal will be mined by robots. Uh, dogs will be worked by robot robotic cats. Even, even the dogs themselves will be ro melons. But enough of orange analogies for the moment. So a technologist is... I'm sorry, there are other people on the panel. I, I, I said, I said, I should rest the issue, my friend. So it seems I got some competition. What do you mean? Them damn cholos are trying to muscle in on my repo business. It's time I sent them a message. Grenades? I just want to make sure they hear what I have to say.
Just a lone killer was responsible for these attacks. More later. VNN, keeping it real simple, just for you. something we dug up from the archives and thought you might enjoy. But honestly, we're just trying to fill time, and we've... It's time to diversify my inches, Vince! Vic. Whatever. We're going into the whoring business. We're gonna take over place up yonder. Once we're in, it's party time. Yes, sir, e boy. I just got me an inch I need scratching. Shame you're queer, boy. I might have tossed you a bone. Thanks, but I don't need you tossing my bone. Just get up there and clean the damn place out, Vince.
kills, amigo. Disrespect me, familia. I hurt you. I was at you, amigo. Yes. Move your bitch ass. Now, I'm ah! having fun, my friend. I don't want to kill you, but I will. Come on. You want this to turn real nasty? I make in my bedroom and the unnecessary fetus you're carrying right now. All right. We both made them. Who are you to say your method is better than mine? Who made you God? You, you are revolting to use God's name that way. How dare you speak to a pregnant woman like that? Oh, shut up, sweetheart. What? Stop it with the... What kind of name is Thor kill? <laughs> oh, here he is, tough boy, the big man. <laughs> How high can you jump, boy? Boy? Oh, you're pretty tough, you inbred piece of white trash. Why don't you come down here and ask me that again, huh? I ain't scared of you. Oh, yeah? Then why is your voice cracking, boy? All right, all right, enough. I ain't scared. You stop disturbing the goddamn neighbors with this bullshit. I'm just saying. I pay you to help me. Not to argue. You hear? Loud and clear, yeah. boss. Good. Now, we got some problems with them cholos. They've been threatening my girls. Now, I want you to teach them some respect. Anyway, I told them, you bring her over to me. I don't care if she's 14. <laughs> I like her boobs. <laughs> <laughs> If you didn't have a mother, you would be asexual. And then what would you do on Friday nights when you get lonely? Get a hooker like my husband? Split into two? Mitosis? I mean, you can't be as Thank God. These commercials these days like little lacy surprise. It's disgusting. It's vulgar. I like that. I like that ad. Certainly, it is a little vulgar. Imagine charging...
You start with us, we're gonna finish you! All you screenwalkers are gonna die! No one messes with the Cholo! Let's get you out of here. There's no place for a lady. Relax. We've got more than rubbers for protection. Come on, let's go. Over here, quick! That was fun. Baby, you're incredible. Just glad to be of service, ladies. Take it easy, girls. Look after yourselves out there. Try to understand the universe through things like parables and abstract ideas. Now we understand it completely with numbers. I can type things in and turn the calculator upside down and spell words. Now this is something I'd like to see. Sure. And I know for a fact that life I is completely that. pointless and meaningless. Uh, if I have an imaginary friend, uh, I'd be put in a home. But if you let a man wear a dress and write a book about it, a innocent. Life is random. Religion is for the week. I could be killed tomorrow. Thank this God. woman right here could sit on me with her with her uh, stomach and kill me. I have a painful hemorrhoid. Whenever I think of that, 